Welcome to this demonstration of Mykonos Web Security. In the new version of the product, we're going to demonstrate two new processes. The first one, directory traversal protection, and the second one, a brute force authentication processor. So now let's talk about the directory traversal protection. What we're going to do is we're going to attack this site, Generic Electronics, with a script um, being run a product called DIR Buster. It is going to try and map the site, look for any hidden files, hidden directories, um, so that you get a full profile of what the site is built on. So what I'm going to do is run it here now. As you can see, it's going to start clicking away, and here it goes. Um, it's basically creating a map of the site. And as you can watch here, this time to finish, as you see it, it is starting to creep up, going to five hours, going to six hours, going to seven hours, going to two days, going to four days. This, this scan is going to take 32 days to complete um, because of what is happening and, and the Mykonos web security product is preventing this attack from being successful. A hacker is going to look at this and say, okay, I can't let this go for 68 days, so they're going to stop this scan and start to look at what the problem is. They're going to start here, pause, look at the directory results, and basically, this whole file, all of these directories are seen in there. So they're going to say that all, everything is being found within this site. So what Mykonos has done is really sort of told it that every directory that it is requesting is actually in the, in the directory structure. So it's basically making this whole way of attacking and this, pr this tool cannot run against a site protected by Mykonos Web Security. So now I'm going to show you the brute force authentication protection. What I'm going to show you first off is I'm going to log in as a real user. And so I'm going to log in as innocent at victim.com. And then the, the password for that is ABC123. What I want to show you is that this, this profile and that password can log in. And here it is. It has an account within this um, website. Now we're going to log out. And if a, a hacker has actually got um, knowledge that innocent at victim.com, but they don't have the password, what they're going to try and do is try and brute force this account, um, running a script against it and trying to try as many passwords as they can. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to run the, the, the top 25 uh, most popular passwords against this site. And as you can see within this list of passwords, the, our actual password is listed, ABC123. So it should be able to um, log in. So we're going to run this scan against it. As you can see, it's going in. And all these blues mean that they're, they're invalid credentials, that the password is not correct. And then these yellows are that there's been an unexpected response against it, even with ABC123, which is a, the correct password. Um, so it's, it's showing that this product, um, this login is not going through. So if we go back to the site now and uh, don't really understand what's going on, um, we go back to the login and realize that for some reason my, my, my script is not running. So they go back to the login now. If I know that I have innocent at victim.com, I've got to now try and test things like, do I know their, their dog's name, their wife's name, their date of birth, um, their pet? So let me try their, their pet name. Um, and their pet name is Des. Let me see if that goes through. As you can see here, um, they are back to manual hacking because their script didn't work because the Mykonos device detected it. Um, that one didn't authenticate. Then if I, I, I test that, I know that their, their favorite color is blue. If I put blue in and I try and log in, again, I'm back to manual hacking. So I'm making this hack more expensive and more costly because the tools that they would normally use to try and brute force this site aren't working. So I'm slowing this hacker down. OK, so now what we have is We've tried these manual passwords. We're getting nowhere. Let's go and try and log in as innocent victim and actually get the right password. So we go back to ABC123, and this should allow you to authenticate. It's thrown up a capture again. And if I resolve it, I should be able to log in. But as you can see, even though I logged in with the correct password, 
the Mykonos web security device has blocked this person from being able to use even the correct password because they've been identified as running a brute force attack against this site. So you're protected even when they have the username and password. So now if we click over to the Mykonos web security intrusion deception product, what we see, we have a profile of, of Terry6588, and here we have all of the invalid logins and the, the brute force attempts that were detected, and the response where we broke authentication where they couldn't even log in, even with the correct password. And that concludes this demo of the two new features in Mykonos Web Security. Please go to mykonossoftware.com to learn more about it.